most often the cotonoid part of the q-tip is found in the ear canal different living or non-living foreign bodies can be found also in the ear canal such as different types of toys plastics or wax we can use um, different size and shaped ear forceps such as crocodile forceps to remove foreign bodies which can be well grabbed also electric suction is a useful tool to remove foreign bodies we often use electric suction for removing of wax or a Jensen's hook can also be used it is a tool that has a rectangular tip with these instruments we can go behind the foreign body and pull it back out do not try to use ear forceps to remove roundish foreign bodies as it would just further push the foreign body into the ear canal Janssen hook is also good to remove wax, especially when the wax is hard in consistency. With this too, the likeness of hurting and causing injury on the ear canal is minimal. Also, irrigation is useful to remove foreign bodies use body warm water to wash out the ear canal and do not use irrigation in case of perforated eardrum or in case of external otitis thank you for your attention Um, people tend to clean the ears with the cotton buds. Sometimes different plastic foreign bodies can retain in the ear canal or wax or sometimes living foreign bodies. The easiest way to remove uh, foreign bodies from the ear canal is with the use of uh, crocodile forceps or an ear forceps sometimes you can use electric suction it is especially useful to remove wax or we can use Janssen's hook the tip of the Janssen's hook is rectangular in shape and it's easy to pull around foreign body from the ear canal. Do not use ear forceps for removing roundish foreign bodies as it would further push in the foreign body into the deeper part of the ear canal. Jensen's hook can be used not just for round foreign bodies but also for wax or other types of foreign bodies it's a very useful tool we can also use irrigation be sure to use a body warm water otherwise you would cause vertigo for the patient do not irrigate and wash out ear canals in case of perforated tympanic membrane or in case of an external otitis. Thank you for your attention.